Today I'll be testing these high heat paints to see which ones can keep this brand new steel exhaust from rusting through a long, salty Ohio winter. Here's the lineup of heat resistant paints I have today. Let's start with the primers. This Dupacolor engine enamel primer is good up to 500 degrees. This VHT flame proof primer is good up to 2000 degrees. Then we have engine enamels. This old VHT engine enamel is good for 550 degrees. Then a much newer can of VHT engine enamel, also good to 550 degrees. This can is new. This one is probably 15 or 20 years old, back when they were owned by a PJ1. Now they're owned by Sherwin. We'll see which formula is better, old versus new. And we have some Dupacolor engine enamel. This label is the older style, they look different now. And it's good to 500 degrees. Both of these are actually owned by Sherwin. So those are medium heat range. Then we have the high heat. Dupacolor is good to 1200 degrees. High heat with ceramic. These are both older labels. Dupacolor high heat was actually discontinued when Sherwin bought VHT. So that's a pretty old can of paint. Then I have a can of blue VHT flame proof good up to 2000 degrees, mainly used for painting headers. So it should be fine for an exhaust. And I also have a can of Duplicolor wheel coating. It's not meant for high heat, but it is an enamel. So we'll see how it holds up on something like an exhaust. Might be a cheaper alternative to the high heat paints. And some Duplicolor metal cast paint, which is a translucent color coat for an anodized look. It does say it's heat resistant on the label, so we'll see how it holds up on an exhaust. But before I get to the fun part of the video where I paint my exhaust nine different colors, first I need to clean the exhaust and prepare it for paint. First I had to scrape off any stickers and remove any leftover adhesive so the paint would stick to the metal. Now I get to prep this steel exhaust for painting. I bought it from BR Exhaust and it looks really nice for $200 shipped. Made in Canada. It did not come with a cat. I bought that separate. The cat back appears to be a bare mild steel, which will not look good after a salty Ohio winter. So now is the time to paint it while it's brand new and rust free. And it's going on this Honda Fit, which I just got in a trade because it currently has this obnoxiously loud exhaust. I'm too old for that. To prep the exhaust for paint, I'll need some sandpaper to scuff up the metal surface. This is 180 grit, and it'll rough up the surface to give the paint something to bite to. This was by far the most tedious part of this entire project. The entire surface needs to be sanded to create scratches for the paint to adhere well. A smooth surface isn't good for paint to bond to and will be more likely to peel or chip, especially being on the underside of the vehicle where abrasion from dirt and road debris is most likely. Everything has been sanded and as you can see, it makes quite the mess. It's all the metallic dust that I sanded off. Here's how it looks close up to give you an idea of how much scuffing the surface is needed. I'll get all the welds and seams scuffed with a wire wheel. Next, I wiped down the entire exhaust with plenty of paper towels and degreaser. It took a few passes to remove all of the sanding residue. The degreaser also removes any grease or oils left on the metal surface, which can cause the paint not to bond. Okay, here is the full exhaust. And the cat didn't sand very well. I don't think this is mild steel. I was still able to scuff it up some, but I think it might be a like T406 stainless steel. I'm not sure, but you can see it's darker than the rest of the exhaust. So it may not even rust if it is stainless, but we'll put some paint on it anyways, for science. All right, my garage has been converted into a spray booth. I'll get the car out of here. Now you get a chance to hear my uh, fart cannon exhaust.
So, these two are the closest to the engine and will see the most heat. So I'll paint them with the VHT Flame Proof Primer, since it's good up to 2000 degrees. And the pieces at the end of the exhaust will get painted with the Duplicolor Engine Primer because it withstands heat up to 500 degrees. Primer's dry, time for high heat paint. I have some blue flame proof, good for 2000 degrees, and silver Duplicolor high heat, good for 1200. I'm gonna paint the stainless cat with the blue flame proof because it does get the hottest. On the mid pipe, I'm painting half with the flame proof and the other half with the high heat. So it'll be half blue and half silver. Hopefully these paints don't react with each other. There's the first coat. The Duplicolor High Heat covers really well. I need a couple more coats on the cat. Up next, we have our engine enamels and the experimentals. And they're going on the back half of the mid pipe and the muffler. I just grabbed this extra can of uh, flat aluminum flame proof because I started to paint the back of the muffler yellow. I realized that's gonna look pretty ridiculous from the back of the car. So I'd rather keep this experiment under wraps and paint the very end silver. The old school VHT engine orange is almost as dark as the new VHT engine red. I applied the third coat slightly heavier than the first two for best coverage. This is known as the wet coat and helps add gloss and makes the paint look more uniform. So we're back. It is uh, Sunday, June 11th, 2023. And this car has been through an Ohio winter. We've got it up on the lift. Over at Mikey's place, we're at the shop spot today. What's going on, everybody? Check out his channel for all kinds of weird projects. But uh, we're gonna do a, a walk through here and see how this high heat paint held up through the salty Ohio winter. Now this is the cat, remember I painted this, this had the flame proof primer and the flame proof blue paint. And this looks just as good as it did the day I painted it. Maybe a tad bit faded. Remember the next piece was this pipe and I did half with the VHT flame proof blue and the other half with the Duplicolor high heat silver, which was actually discontinued a long time ago, but I had a leftover can. So this is two old products right here and they both held up. I do have a little bit of rust forming. That could be just from some road debris that hit it right there too. But overall, pretty good. A little bit more rust right there. It's all on the Duplicolor side actually. Makes you wonder, huh? What do you, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, it makes you wonder because it does kind of look like there's a possibility maybe rocks were hitting certain areas or yeah, and I think the rock is gonna hit, it's gonna actually hit on this side here, towards yeah. the front of the car. So maybe the VHT is a little bit tougher than the Duplicolor. This weld did not hold up well. Now, keep in mind, this exhaust was $200 shipped. So, of course, I'm not surprised it is rusting, but I did coat all this very well, and my guess is this, this is rusted from the inside out. So, uh, that is what it is. It's rusted all the way around on the Duplicolor side and on the VHT side. So moving on, we got the uh, resonator here. It's looking solid. And more rust on this seam right here. A little bit more on the Duplicolor side, actually. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I think, it's quite noticeable. Yeah, definitely less rust on the VHT side. In fact, it's barely starting there. You know what's odd too though? It is on the bottom side. So I mean, if That's there is true. moisture, it's definitely gonna sit on this lower part. But regardless, even if you look around right here, yeah, it does go all the way up, so. And I do a lot of short 10 minute trips driving the kids to school. So I'm sure there's been a lot of moisture in this exhaust when the weather's cold. But uh, here's where we get kind of weird. Moving on back, remember I did the uh, DC engine enamel in yellow, VHT engine enamel in orange, which was the old formula. Then I used the red, which was the new formula. And all this was painted with the DC engine enamel primer first. So the yellow is held up all right. A little dirty. I did wipe this off beforehand. And then the old school VHT <laughs> orange has turned into a pretty much solid black slash brown. I don't know what happened there, but it did not handle the high heat well. Now this is back when the VHT was a PJ1 product. And now VHT is owned by Sherwin. And that is this red color here. So you can see the old formula did not hold up well to the heat. The new formula did. I'm moving on back to the muffler section here. I painted the whole thing with the engine enamel primer. And then we went with the duplicolor wheel coating in white as an experiment. And you can see the duplicolor wheel coating actually held up as a paint on the exhaust. Next up was another experiment. We had the duplicolor metal cast red. I think they say in the can it's good at 250 degrees, but um, it does well as a uh, exhaust paint for sure. Uh, next color, we did the VHT engine, and this was the red, the new formula. It's held up great. I mean, it was kind of an orangish red to begin with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But next, <laughs> this was the old school formula again, the PJ1 formula. And uh, this was the VHT engine orange, which has turned into black over time, which is really weird. I don't know how this even happened. It's held up well. There's no rust or anything for me, but it's definitely not orange. And then last but not least, we had an old school can of Dupacolor engine yellow from way back in the day which is still the product they use today. And it's held up well aside from some staining and road debris and all that, but it's still done great through the Ohio winter. And then a little bit more rust on my $200 BRE exhaust. So there you go. It turns out that uh, painting your exhaust when it's brand new to prevent rusting may help it prevent from rusting through an Ohio winter. Obviously, there's gonna be some areas of exhaust that always rust out first, and that's gonna be anywhere where there's a weld because that creates the opportunity for moisture to collect on the inside and start rusting through, which is exactly what you see right here. But for a cheap, a very cheap budget exhaust, I will say that some of these products, especially the VHT header paint, has prevented this exhaust from rusting through an Ohio winter filled with road salt. Yeah, we're both really impressed with this VHT header paint. And this is the old formula, but look all the way, even up there, right off the header, it's held up great. Most concentrated area of heat right there, and it's hanging. The product did exactly what it should. And even though this was all shiny and glossy when it was new, the modern VHT engine red has dulled over time, whereas the old school formula, which has turned mostly black, hint of orange in there, it's still a very high gloss finish. So that's interesting. I don't know why that happened. So I guess in some aspects, the old school formula is pretty good compared to the new. Either way, I think they both work in this application to prevent this exhaust from rusting. So thanks for watching this six, seven month experiment and uh, stay in tune for more experiments over here at the Six Gear Garage as well as the shop spot. Thanks for watching.